Previously on The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we journey deep into Miss Vale Keep. We discovered that the Jarl seems to be getting managed quite a bit by her steward. The steward seems to be on the pay of Maven Brack Blackbriar here in Riften. And Maven Blackbriar, we also discovered, may be trying to summon some assassins to do some, some terrible assassination stuff. And turns out you might have to kill someone to get the assassins to show up. Which seems kind of backwards. Isn't that why you want them to come anyhow? In addition, we helped Brynhoff plant a ring and steal a ring and get someone in jail that apparently was kind of a, an impromptu audition for an entrance into the Thieves' Gold, and we crafted ourselves some dragon armor. On that, and today, I, I discovered that it would probably be really good if we enchanted the armor to get some of our magic regeneration back. And so I was looking at, this is the wrong thing, not alchemy. I was looking at how we could, we could possibly enchant this to get our magicka. Cause we had like 125% magicka. So you can see if I go to magicka regeneration, that's what we had. We got items. We can only put it on our head. I'm sorry, our body or our head. And at best it's 18%. And here is, is 18 percent again that, that's not very good that, i mean that's not i don't think it's worth doing obviously like every little bit helps but i was trying to see if, what we could do to like improve that and our enchanting is just i think if we could get it leveled up a little bit more like the 70 a 25 percent bonus would be pretty good as well as you know just getting this ranked up so we're, we're getting closer and enchanting just by disenchanting to try and make something stronger. I do know that every once in a while we pick, up, with it. we pick up an enchanting potion, which really does make a bit of a difference. We're completely well rested. We're also completely... Who's just sprinting through here? Who was that? Beautiful I've never seen me all this upset This guy, huh. So, we are well rested. We are Good well fed. You. Finally, someone useful is around. Oh my goodness. We're well rested, we're well fed, and we're heading out the doors. Here's the thing. I I think the the magic regeneration is gonna be a problem. Remember in combat you you lose a pretty significant amount of of magic regeneration. So I have like some serious concerns. We have quite a few potions to regenerate okay, magic. magic Alright, the other thing I discovered was remember this horse that keeps like is that a dragon? Is that a dragon? I heard like a scream. Look to the skies, traveler! There it is, there it is. That is a dragon. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill this thing. Conjure flame at your neck. Alright, there's our flame at your neck. And then we're going to get out a lightning bolt on our right, healing on our left. What exactly are you fighting over here, Flame Matronach? There are two things. You think it's a double dragon battle? Is that a thing? No, it's a giant spider. Whoa. That was unexpected. Where did these giant spiders come from? Oh my goodness. Wow. We can't harvest anything off them? Got some steel arrows? Okay. What about the dragon? Did it just fly away again? The dragon's like, psych. Seriously, guy? Yeah, he's gone. All right, there goes the combat music. Okay, so where were we? Let's see here. We're at the stables. I discovered that the... The horse that keeps like showing up. See, it just says ride horse, ride horse. It's because we beat that guy down. The guy, we, we, we've punched him out. Now we can just take a horse whenever. I think, I, I think that's why. I, I'm, I'm like 94% sure about that. You might be saying that, where are we going today? We are joined by the lovely Lydia, as well as Hilda the goat. And I'm pretty, is that a dragon? Stop that. I heard like some giant wings flapping. I, I think I think the gig is up. I think it's time. 
that we we had here to speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard. I pinned it on the map. I don't know how hard this is going to get to be to get to. I'm hoping there's kind of like a roadway we can kind of sort of follow and, and it'll it'll work itself out. Because this is some really rough terrain, but we're well fed, we're well rested. We have our new fancy armor on, which is significantly warmer than our old armor. Really hoping that makes a little bit of a difference for us. And we're, we're off. We are a little bit over encumbered. Not a lot, but we definitely... Just making sure there's something like a big fall here. We definitely do not have a lot of room to carry stuff, so we don't want to get like stuck in like a big like a big cave crawl or anything too wacky. There's a bear around here. No, no, no. This is bear country out here. It might not be immediately obvious, but this is bear country. But the vampires have been a real menace. We have on more than one occasion now come under... come under real danger from the vampires. Let's go ahead and check the map, see if we're... Yeah, looks like we're on a road. Looks like this might take us down to the, the leader of the Dawn Guard here. I'm hoping once we've been here once, we'll be able to, like, take a, a carriage. I haven't found one that goes here, though. So I have to see. We're going to ignore these people entirely. No more stops. We need to find our way to Solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire <laughs> what? anyway? I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire Company. The Emperor's cousin, remember? The Emperor's Hopefully cousin? Will put us in her good There's like some bandits over there taunting us. And lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. The Emperor's in Skyrim? What? Maybe I'm getting confused here, but... Alright, so there's some bandits up there, I swear. We're gonna leave them alone. So, like, they were like, why are we even going to this wedding? Well, I told you, we need to... Go to this wedding because it's the Emperor's cousin. We want a trade deal. Okay, sure, why not? Wolves. There's the quick save. Let's go ahead and check the map here. It does look like we're on the right path. It is starting to get very cold. We're under attack, we're under attack, we're under attack. No, 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 no. Not the horse, not the horse. The horse didn't do it. This is a good horse. We are being chased still. Come on, dude. Leave the horse alone. Mr. Wolf, eat someone else. Oh, he's very fast and persistent. Random guy on horse is aggressive. Maybe he's just hunting these rabbits. Are we on the right track? We still... It looks like we've taken a wrong turn. We need to be more... Kind of that way. Oh, okay, there's wolves, and then he summoned in something. Nope. We are actually being attacked. We're we're not we're not getting involved with that. We're just running. He summoned in like a giant He summoned in like a giant ice creature. More Oh little goblins? Oh we can't go forward. There's like an invisible wall here. What are we doing? We're gonna die! Goblins, ice ice troll thing, wolves? Who is this guy? Summoning him more stuff. What did he just summon in? Lydia, do something! What is going on? A ghost wolf? I just don't want to dismount because then we'll lose our horse. But apparently the guy was like... Here? How do we get to this guy? Do we need to go through a cave? Speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard local map. Maybe there's a... a way up? I'm trying to avoid combat with the goblins and the, the summoner guy. He's like up the top of that. What is this here? Oh, he does want us to go into that cave. I don't want to do that. Alright, we're going to dismount because we're where we need to be. Which, which is good. Drop a quick save here. We are technically in combat somehow. Grab a flame cloak as well as we're going to conjure in our flame atronach. All right, there is the flame atronach. Okay. Here is a flame cloak. 
Okay, we're on fire. And then let's go ahead and get our elemental bolt. So there's Lydia, and Lydia's fighting a goblin. As is this horse. Try not to blow up Lydia here. She will not let- Oh, the horse is aggressive! This horse is gonna try and kill us! This horse is killing us! Try not to blow up Lydia. Oh, we're in like real danger here. Who is shooting us? I've never been attacked by a horse before. That was unique. Okay, Frost Thatcher that. These guys are really tanky. Look at our stupid summon here. Just blasting this rock. Ooh, our stupid summon just got blown up. Okay, let's go ahead and conjure in our Frost Atronach again. Flame, flame. Not sure we have a Frost one, okay? Didn't work at all. Try it again. There it is. Go back to our elemental bolt. Now I'm trying to shoot this wood elf. Who's randomly attacking me. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting messed up by something. I can't tell what. It's the horse. This horse is like way too tanky for us, by the way. Lydia, please tell me you're doing something good before this horse kills me. This horse is really gonna kill me. Look at my health bar. No, no, no. I 100% cannot believe how, how much damage that... Oh, come on, Flame Matronac. That horse is doing to me. Don't do it, horse. Don't do it. All right, Lydia's over here fighting this Frost Atronach, but we need to be fighting the Wood Elf. She's doing all the real damage. This Wood Elf is, like, dropping multiple... We're completely missing here. Multiple summons. All right, come on, Lydia. Come on, we got this. We got this. Boom. I don't know how much health Lydia has, so I hope she doesn't die here. Oh, Lydia's doing fine. That is the last spell we can cast for a little while here. As we are out of... Uh, out of juice. Maybe we can conjure in the Mist Man? We're just trying to get some magic... To Oh, it's that mercy rule. It's that mercy rule. Stupid healing spell. Man. Alright, there's nothing to pick up. Now they're having an archery off. I hate this. Alright, there's our summon. The Miss Man has absolutely no mercy, so that should work out well. I do think upgrading our armor is the only reason we're alive right now. Why didn't this Wood Elf jump us? Did she really kill our summon already? Oh no, the horse. The horse. No, the Miss Man is stuck down here. Come on, guys, up the hill, up the hill. She, like, walked backwards up this hill and is perfectly, like... Oh, she's full health! All right, can we get her with the big blast? Now we miss. Oh, she got another summon in, though. Oh, Lydia, come on. How do we mess this up so bad? So somehow we're fighting the horse in this summon. We have to do more damage. 
See how the wood health is healing? Lydia is just absolutely hacky and slashing. I don't want to have to use an item this early. We'll do it. It's that stupid healing. That healing is absolutely ridiculous. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Like we're gonna blow up Lydia. No, 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 please hit her. Hit her, Lydia. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Oh, man. Finally. So. No reason. No note. No hate. Just randomly attacked us. I thought maybe, like, it would say, like, I don't know. All right, so Dayspring Cannon. She's not a vampire. She wasn't a goblin. And just nothing. Absolutely no reason. She just came after us. Okay, let's go ahead and get out. We're going to conjure a zombie. Get our flame cloak going. So there is the flame cloak. And we will conjure a zombie when we can. We are not currently cold, which is very nice. All right, so we are currently on the way to meet with the leader of the Dawn Guard. I'm not really sure anything other than every guard we walk by is like, have you heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard? Vampire hunters. Yeah, the vampires, I'm not about. I, I think they are up to no good. I think they're bad news. Oh, hey there. Hi. You're here to join the Dawn Guard too. Yeah. Truth is, I, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. All he's got is a lockpick and a torch. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. All right, guy. We won't tell. Probably. Yes, yeah, it turns out. This is a lovely little stroll. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? Sure no. Sign you right up. Who sure. just killed a rabbit? Whoop. This guy's like getting way out of us. That must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Is it? Wow. Bigger than I expected. <laughs> we get that a lot. I did just want to take his lockpick, though. What is it, dude? I heard what's going on. The vampires, the Dawn Guard, all of it. I wanted to help, so here I am. Okay. Same. We actually were, were, I forget the guy's name, but asked. Ever since Bloodshell Manor, we've had it out for the vampires. Anything else, dude? I heard what's going on. Nope. The vampires, the Dawn Guard. Let's maybe see if we can't get Muffle going. I wanted to help. So here Summon in something. Nancy. Good work, Nancy. Where is everybody? This place looks almost deserted. Almost deserted? It looks deserted. Looks like we need to keep going this way. It is menacing, though. It is very menacing. Picked up some thistle. Yeah, you'd think there'd be someone out and about. But maybe not. Maybe they hunt vampires at night? Remember we robbed this guy, like, right at the start he came after us? This is the guy, right? Durak, yeah. Well, well. You made it. Good. Isran's in the fort. He'll get you sorted out. All right, thanks, man. Why did you join the Dawn Guard, Durak? I lost two wives to vampires. Oh, no. I will avenge them. For sure. It's good to know that I will not have to do it alone. You won't. I'm glad this Dawn Guard exists. 
Never seen a crossbow before, eh? Not surprised. Kind of a Don Guard specialty. Nothing better for putting down vampires. Very cool. Here, take this one and give it a try. You'll want to get to know how to use it if you really plan to join the So he the gave Don us Guard. a crossbow and 45 steel boats, bolts. May and he still has nothing to steal. Stay sharp. Okay, thank you, Durak. What a guy. Absolute bummer. He somehow lost not one life, but two. Sounds kind of like a vampire was really after him. Like, that sounds like more than an accident. That sounds personal. I guess this is it. Wish me luck. Hey, good luck, man. I really hope that uh, things work out for you, whatever that might be. Maybe it is joining the on guard. Maybe it's not. Harvesting some mountain flowers. Who's this guy? Hello, hello, Can guy. Hello. The Dawn guard? I'll tell you, the only thing more surprising than hearing from Isran after all these years was hearing that he wanted my help. Really? I immediately realized things must be pretty bad. Looks like I was right. Huh. You've worked with Isran before? I have. There was a time years ago when we were both members of the Vigilance and both equally dissatisfied with them. Interesting. Their hearts are in the right place, of course. But Isran and I were never comfortable. Why? We left together, but that partnership didn't last very long. I didn't agree with some of his methods. This is kind of a weird dialogue. Isran will guy. decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. Okay. All he's got is a torch. Well, I guess we're just going inside then. Let's see if there's any life out here. All right, looks like there's some life, except for Hildy. Hilda, anything you want to tell us? Probably not. All right, we're going into Fort Dawnguard. Here we go. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. It's not interrupt. You know why I'm here. The Vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard? Is that safety? This place is covered in cobwebs. Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isran, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well. I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am... sorry, you know. Ha! This Isran guy is kind of a hard, a hard fellow. So who are you? What do you want? Well, we're here to join the Dawn Guard. And, you know, the vampires? They, they do not bring us joy. We're very upset. They have attacked us in what is now our home, and we've taken it very personally, and I'm here to join the Vampire Hunters. Got a fire in your ability to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. Thank you. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the Order. We respect that. How can we help? I need someone out in the field taking a fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Okay. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. He's got one gold ingot and an amulet of Kinnereth here for extra 10% stamina. Looks like this amulet of Kinnereth is maybe like a, a dragon flying? I'm not sure. And this guy's got a potion of cure disease, the amulet of Stendar, block 10% more damage. And uh, that's yes, about it. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long lost vampire artifact of some kind. Huh. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall. Let's just check for life really quick. Yeah, Let's we've got life. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at dim hollow. Oh. It's the least I can do. 
to avenge my fallen comrades. Okay. I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained. I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some... ...small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. Yeah, what? What's your Let's name? see how he does. Uh, I'm, uh... My name is Agnir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining the army. Look at this big hammer he carries. Yes, sir. E Isra. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe. When wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stendhal preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Uh, crossbow? I've yeah. never... We're gonna follow them, see how he shoots. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. All right, let's see how he does. All right. Good form, I guess. Boom! Concentrate, boy. Try it again. What is he hitting? Oh, right in the crate. Nice. Take a deep breath and let it out as you fire. Look at this. Look at his draw. He, like, pulls it out from his hip. Watch, watch, watch. See, does he not... That is such a cool little animation. So is he in? Does he just stay here forever? Watch the recoil. Takes some getting used to. Little coaching? Maybe this is what we needed at Bloodshell Manor. One of these thingamajingies. Okay, so... He sent us on a quest. Find out what the vampires are seeking. I've met Isran, the leader of a group of vampire hunters known as the Dawn Guard. The vampires that attacked the Hall of Vigilance may have been after something in a place called Dim Hollow Crypt. Spooky. Isran asked me to find out what the vampires are looking for. Let's see this on the map. Oh no. Oh no. So we're like over here. And Dim Hollow Crypt is like. Whoa. Like here was Bloodshell Manor, and that was in the middle of nowhere. Here's. Dawn Star. This where everyone couldn't sleep. I like how, like, Isran's like, oh, you're the new guy here. Try a crossbow. See if you can shoot. For us, he's like, sends us on, like, a serious mission. He's like, hey, so, uh, you want to get yourself killed? Let's see if there's anyone else to talk to around here. So we turn left. We turn left. Let's not go upstairs just yet. It does look very run down. You need to concentrate. But we can just take again. the gold. So we will. So if I'm not mistaken, the Vigilance of Stendar are some kind of, of oops, monster hunters. But clearly I'm just trying to get the map updated here. Oh, we just stole a dagger. Useless. But... It seems that the vampires are a little bit too much for them. And based on what Isran... Is there really no one else here? Wow. Just the three of us. Me. What is in here? Nothing. Looks like it's, it keeps something scary, though. Like, there's a, there's a door to open, but this is some reinforced barricade. Multiple, like, high-visibility torches? A chair? What would we be watching down here? What is going on around this place? Maybe there's some kind of weird... Maybe they have a really big dog. <laughs> Just runs out and eats vampires. He's like, oh, delicious. Runs back inside. Woof. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, we came through right there. Hey, don't shoot us. We're walking through. Walking through. Okay. My goodness. This is right where we came in through. 
upstairs. There's another upstairs. We're not going up the stairs. Wow, it really is just... Just nothing? I, I, I'm not, like, upset. I'm assuming that, like, it'll get filled in with stuff as we continue the quest. If it doesn't, then I, I might get Dead Drop Falls. Let's not go in there. That... That's, that's, that's a place you die repeatedly. Fall damage, most likely. What do you think? Oh, shoot. What is this? Talk to Skillong. He's going to look like Huskies. Talk to Bran? I don't have my amulet of dog speak. Sorry, guys. Are you guys here all by yourself? Look, they've got a little armor on. <laughs> nice. We should get... Hilda, you're gonna get replaced, girl. Hilda's like done some really, really. Is anyone here with these dogs? Whose dogs are these? Hello? Wow. This is really good stuff in here. Glass shield, flawless amethyst, gold, potion of healing, empty chest. Okay, yeah, I mean, thanks. I do not want to go upstairs. Seems like there's a lot of ways up. Man, this is kind of. Hey, we're walking through. Don't shoot us, please. Just passing through. Whoop. Okay. There's some bed rolls. Nobody's asleep on them. A book? Nope. So I guess it's just dead empty. We're gonna go up one set of stairs. Just one. Because it all kind of seems to loop. So if you came in the front door and turned right and then turned right again, that's the stairs we're going up right now. I'm assuming you kind of all, okay, Dayspring Canyon. That sounds like outside of the fort. That sounds like maybe it's like on top of the wall, best guess. Let's just not. Let's try the next stairs to see if it also puts us on top of the wall. Okay, so this is like a second level up here. It did not take us outside, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Anybody here? Anybody? What? Oh, a torture room! Wow! Wow, oh, this one even has torture tools! And one gold coin. That's some blood money right there. We're gonna take these iron ingots. They're just beating people with ingots. I was really hoping that take a hammer and a whole bunch of, of alcohol. I don't know if the torturer just is getting drunk or, or drunken people or, or, or cleaning thing. It does not look very clean around here. Wow, what is this? Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Okay, so. I like the torture room is right next to the bed. We can sleep in the bed, though. We are going to do that. That's the thing we're going to do. So it is night. So this will make it... This will make it morning. That'll be worth doing. All right, so we are well rested. We're probably very hungry. You're pretty hungry, that's okay. So maybe we just missed everyone. Like, maybe everyone's just out hunting, but... What's assuming that's Jesus. not the case... There's another cot we can sleep in. Yeah, I, I... I really hope we haven't joined the wrong side, so to speak. I don't even know... I don't know what the other options are, but... We're going back down this side. Nobody's here. We're like literally the first people. Us. What's the leader name? I gotta remember these names. Us, those two dogs, farmer boy. This ran. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Any advice for a new vampire hunter here, Isran? There's only one thing worth remembering. Okay. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. Whoa. And good people will die because of you. Whoa! I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. Okay. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. Okay. You know what? Let's keep just leave open. him alone. That's fine. Yeah, I mean... A little salt. A little more salt. Very handy. Yeah, it's just empty. Uh, I mean, he wants us to go... Try and kill a vampire. Can we rob this guy now? Oops. He's unfound something for you to do, eh? I thought he'd like you. Good luck. Hmm? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. kind of weird. He's like, 
Man, these guys are really gung-ho about getting us killed, huh? How are we doing, Durak? Yes. Bring the dog. Guard honor. Okay, man. Are we in? Like, are we in the group? Is that how it... Does this go somewhere? Maybe? This is not the way we came in. Oh, I don't want to go in here. No, no, no. Mossy Glen Cave. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to get too off track there. So, this is just weird. This is a very odd... Like, it's very kind of kind of scenic over here, but it's a very odd start. As far as I'm concerned, like, harvest some gourds, some cabbage. Hopefully this stuff regrows. I don't know. Plenty. He just gave us a crossbow and some bolts. A lot of flowers. It's just empty. It's just, it's just empty. It's in its own little place. Huh. I thought there'd be more to this. I don't mind, per se, that there isn't just yet. But if we get, like, a couple of... We gotta eat something. I really don't want to. If we get, like, a couple of quests in and there's nothing happening, I'm gonna actually be, like, a little bummed it's so empty. Man. That is one... One big moose. What's up, moose guy? Boop. We have to run all the way back to get out. Like, on one hand. On one hand. Like, can we just take this? Yeah, we can harvest it. There we go. Little salmon, little salmon. Very nice. On one hand, I do appreciate the... The walk-in. And I do appreciate... It wasn't freezing cold since we're surrounded by ice and snow. And we are in survival mode. But on the other hand, I'm also kind of like... But why? Like, why did it have us just run all the way here to just run all the way out? And here's the thing. In survival mode, not having fast travel, we've got to run all the way out. <laughs> so maybe this, this quest line isn't really designed for, for survival mode. That's kind of... Kind of a thought I'm having this moment. Because we don't have a horse or anything. We will be running. I don't know how to, like, keep a horse. I know I said that kind of weird. Like, I've been trying to keep a wife. I've been trying to keep a good woman around. I've been trying to keep a horse. I don't know how to keep a horse. Even the horses that say we can ride them, they run off. But that wood elf, that horse fought with the wood elf. It was very impressive. I do hear that stupid nern root. It is so loud. We're gonna ignore it for the minute here. What does this map marker say? Eriften, that's all it says. It doesn't even give us a remote clue to like, which way we actually need to be going. I guess we should keep summoning things in just in an effort to keep up our levels if we can. There were these random bandits over here. We're gonna leave them alone. Okay. There we go. I don't think we need to be in their business right now. But I will say this much. Why in the world? <laughs> Why in the world? Can we not keep a horse? Like, with Hilda. If we lose Hilda, we have a little spell tome. It's, it's always on us. And we can just be like, Hey, Hilda, come over this way. And she'll show up. We don't have to mess with, with anything to get her to, to come back if, if we lose her. Let's go ahead and let's take off the Awakening, find out about the, the vampires, just because it is forever away. I mean, it is genuinely across the whole map in, in a major way. Can we get back into the city from this side? No, dead end. How many times have we done that? Tried to get in the rift in from this side. All right, illusion, illusion increase to 59. I'm not exactly sure why it's so tricky to summon a summon. 
We can get in from this side, right? I mean, this guy's not going to hassle us. Yeah, there we go. Well, we've joined the Dawn Guard. We've done it. We've taken the first steps to hunting down and, and getting rid of the Vampire Menace. I don't know how successful the Dawn Guard is. Like, maybe at the end of the quest line, like, the vampires win. Or maybe... We are a little hungry, but we're going to ignore that. So we need to find... What's his name? Bryn Brynhoff? Buy some armor and live to tell it's like right under us. Can we jump down here? Let's not do that. Looks like we need to go down though. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can go down. Going down. What is this? Open this house? Yeah, why not? Never mind. <laughs> well, you know what? Nobody's looking. It's an apprentice lock. We could use the the we could use the the experience. It's not a very high level lock, but notice how easy this was without all the massive debuffs we get when we're hungry and, and tired. Now, if he's in here or not, probably just. Well, that was a really scary sound. It's a really scary sound right there. Steal some gold. Anything else going on in here? Empty wardrobe. Whoops. So he's got 19 gold on the ground. End table. Wooden bowl. Nottage. And... He does have some food here. Salmon steak. There we go. He is going to come home and be hungry. Poor guy. Can we get a house in Riften? You know, the Jarl of right White Run. He was like... Hello, I'm the Jarl of White Warren. Blah, blah, blah. If you do this for me, you can now buy a house, right? And we bought a house. Uh, apparently not the one we need to marry Lydia, which was a little awkward. We're still a little... a little bit miffed about that. But... Pork or meat? Use cooking pot. Cabbage, get out of here. But... He let us buy a house. We talked to the Jarl of, of White Run, and... no shot. So that guy lives right here across from... Felt like something was going to jump us. Why take a chance? Jewelry with legendary Argonian huh. There's like a whole second city down here. Look at this. Like, we were up there. Is this where everyone's house is? Valandor's house? Apprentice lock? Our Aravel's Apprentice Lock? Well, this is something. So someone can see us here. Oh, the, someone up there. Okay. Eyes in the back of their head. Look at this. What a neat little... What is this? Elgrim's Elixirs? Like we missed an entire Got shop? For just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Oh shoot. The Maven hangs out in here. Maven hangs out in here? Well, I'd kinda like to steal all of your nice ingredients. We will be back. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. Oh no, that's not Maven, that's Orcish Dagger. Key to the shop. He's got some good stuff to steal. But we're just going to take the key to his his shop and, and move on for the minute. Requires key. Ingen's alchemy chest. Did we not just steal a key? I guess to the shop. Not to... Have we My talked to Ingen? My experiments today. What did you need? Her experiments. I thought this was Maven. She looks just like Maven. Interesting. All right, so we're completely hidden. Kind of awkward, but we're going to take the key to the manor, which I think we already have. The key to the elixirs, the gold. She's got a bunch of other good stuff on her. We're going to leave just Keep for your now. Hands to yourself. Okay. And let's see if we can't. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. We're invisible. This is half half your? A key and the gold. Let's see what's going on in here. Let's talk to the, the shopkeep. 
Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. That is, that is, that is a factor. So let's give her the Mara blessing and see what she does. Hmm. Never read anything from the temple before. I suppose there wouldn't be any harm in reading it. Okay. Does it bother you living underground? When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyacre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Interesting. <sighs> so are you also an alchemist? I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. Okay. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Ooh, sounds a little jealous here. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. <laughs> He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. Interesting. So have you got your hands full around here? Like your shelves are well stocked. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. Okay. You would? Oh, that yeah, would we'd be help. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, why not? Speak to Filnyar in Shore's stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. Okay. What have you got for ah, sale? So you're an alchemist then? Not uh, really, but we dabble, you know. Okay, ingredients. Just look at what they've got here. Now we're gonna buy the garlic. We are vampire hunters. I don't know if uh, anyone's mentioned that. Buy the nightshade, the nern root, all the salt we can. We'll buy the void salts. Not exactly sure what these salts do. Dwarven oil. Ectoplasm, glowing mushrooms. Oh, there's more salt. No, that was bone meal. Okay. Huh. Not really sure. What we should be focusing on a bunch of lovely lovely potions potion of invisibility recipe potion of resist frost we're gonna leave that alone for now all right so we did steal a key to her be chest careful. we would like the road to shore stone could be dangerous okay thank you we are gonna hmm? gonna talk to Ingen here just thinking about my experiments my mind is on my experiments today what did you need Let's give her the Mara pamphlet, see what she does. Whatever you're peddling, I'm not buying. Okay. Are you an alchemist? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Okay. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. Wow. Like what? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 death bell, 20 Whoa. nightshade, and 20 nerd Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. Any clues about where I can find 60 different ingredients here? Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. 
The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Oh. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. Okay, that's gonna be tough. Uh, why are you so fascinated about alchemy? It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. Excuse me, what? We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. Whoa! You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. She's a little obsessed with like how to kill people a thousand different ways at 10,000 different speeds. Anything you want to share about your family? <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If Whoa. Only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. She, she's like, so, oh my goodness. So, so I just kind of floored here. She basically, she didn't say this, but she said this. She's like, I really like to kill people in horrible ways and see how I can torture them while I do it. It's very interesting to me. My mom's not doesn't quite approve. Wow. My experiments Just can't wow. be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. I'm not sure we should bring her those ingredients. Right, we are invisible. We have the key to the chest. I want to know what's in here. Cannot be lockpicked. We need the key. We have the key. Not really sure. Strong box is an expert lock. Let's give it a go. Oh, please tell me this is the one. So close, so close. Almost have it. Almost have it. This could be it right here. I wish I knew if the speed mattered you do it at. Like, does the speed matter? Like, do some locks you need to go slow or you need to go fast? I mean, we just struggle. <gasps> so close. Okay, I made two adjustments. Just a little, little more to the right from there. This could be it. This could be it right here. Oh! Like the second our lock picking's done leveling up, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh man, it's done. Huh? Oh. Like those st strong boxes always have the good gold in them, you know? Jazby grapes. Focus Jagger. I'm, I'm really not sure we should help her with these ingredients, just have for the record. To make it out to Shore's stone? We have not. We're gonna steal these death bells. <coughs> and another one if we can. Just right from the shop she wants to return them to. We're gonna read the... No, we've read Nord's Arise. It's a giant's toe. Mushrooms, some rat skin, lavender, snowberries, blue mountain flowers. Alright, we're going to head out of this. So there's a shop under here the whole time. I wonder how much time or how long you could go without ever finding that. Obviously, we just did not pay enough attention in the right places. We are starting to get pretty hungry. Let's go ahead and make sure we eat something. There is one salmon steak, so we are now satisfied. So Brynolf said meet us at... Read public notice. Warning, stay out of the railway. It's come to our attention that some misguided citizens have been entering the railway. To complicate matters, there's a ghost and a phantom. And okay. Beautiful and Can we not go in here? here? Okay, we'll take it. Now can we... 
Wow, we could not open that door till we read that. Interesting. We should get jumped by a giant rat right in the door. Let's make sure we're not following the wrong quest here. I do not. Yeah, we're following Brynhoff. Not any of this jazz. Okay, perfect. I wonder if we actually have at least the death bells or the nightshades. I bet we have the nightshades here for Sivvy. But I don't think we have the Nern root. Okay, so... Meet him at the Ragged Flagon. Okay, sure, why not? Elemental Bolt, Healing. Let's actually conjure this man. Put him right in front of us. Did it work? Yeah, I had some real concerns conjuring would be tough in here. But I also feel like we're gonna get jumped. Yeah, 0 for 2 on the conjure. Oh, man. How are we in combat? Alright, there we go. There's our Miss Man. Go ahead and see what else we can cast here. It's healing on our left. Random axe. We're gonna leave that. We do not need an axe in a skull. Elemental Bolt. Let's go ahead and blow these boys up if we can. Lydia's just here at that stupid bow. Well, Lydia walked right in front of us. Low life. They didn't even get the decency of a name. Sorry, Lydia. Wait, are they fighting? Yeah, so they're actually fighting, not us. How do we get down there? Are we taking moss? Sure, why not? Alright, Lydia's doing pretty good on health. This is like way too close quarters to be throwing spells like this, huh? But I think we can get in with the big one. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, maybe we need to get our zombie in. There. There we go, zombie. Alright, it worked. Oh, he's healing! Oops, I meant to shoot my elemental bolt. Whoops. Oh, uh, how's Lydia doing on health? Yeah, she's doing okay. We did light our zombie on fire. No! Exactly like this. Did we get him? Did we get him? There were three of them down here waiting to jump us. Droff? Who non black? Black Skeever? Kind of blew myself up there. Lydia, you doing okay? Did we lose her? Zombie's doing okay. Lydia's at least half health. Guys, you gotta hit him. You cannot right. let him go. No that stupid yield, yield thing yield. is what gets us killed. Alright, finally. She finished him off. Alright, we need to... No, no, no. It's not on favorites. Okay, heal others. This might be an okay time to try and heal others. We gotta get our healing spell up. Heals the target. There we go. Yeah. 
Man, I wish she'd just run down there and like attack him. Wow, one arrow just about wasted us. Restoration increased to 36, finally. Like, there's really good perks. Are we falling through the floor? There's like some really good perks in the restoration tree that we just don't have access to because everything kills us in one hit. So we never really get to do any healing, which is kind of a bummer. But since we upgraded our armor, we've definitely we've definitely survived a couple of, of taps, which is good. We, we needed that so bad. Let's see if we can't get back in the fight. Never believe that submit, Lydia, please. I'll get you. Oh, he's gonna kill us. Oops, I did not want to take that. Items, weapons, drop. We just wanted to find. Okay. Healing on our left hand, Muffle on our right. Dwarven arrows? Probably something Lydia was shooting. Elven bow. And now we get move. Does Hilda the goat happen to be around here? No. I'm right Let's behind you. Let's go ahead. I need to trade some I am things. sworn to carry your burdens. So I don't really want her to switch. And we can run again. So Let's that going, should then. be fine. Wow. One spooky place. Oh. Well, the bridge is out. <laughs> oh, there's Hilda. Hilda, how's it going? Don't we have a way that we can, like, see? Don't we have a light, a candlelight? There we go. Cast one of these. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I do think this is a, a spooky place. These ratways down here. Kind of glad we had that candlelight spell. So a random gourd and uh, clothing iron, a clothes iron. Open door. It looks kind of like it's booby trapped, doesn't it? Open door. Unlock. Unlock trap trigger. Let's try this. Apprentice level. Yeah, a random gourd next to a well-lit fire and a clothes iron. Obviously, someone comes through here or hangs out around here. And as this door is 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 trapped, it's got some kind of a a defense on it. I'm hoping there's something pretty good on the other side. All right, there we go. All right, we've we've untriggered whatever the trap might have been. I think. Hello. Okay, we've seen those before. little jars here. This one. How they light everything on fire. So we threw our zombie into the room just to see if there's anything going on in there and there just does not seem to be. Huh. Mostly empty room. A dead end? I guess we just go the only way we can. What is this? Gin the fist? What's up with this fist guy? 
Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Help, help. Oh, guys, guys. What, what is wrong with this guy? Was it something I said? Probably. This like random man just comes running out here and just starts beating whoever walks through his door apparently. Two more! I yield! I yield! You yield, dude, it's too late, dude. What the actual heck? What is this? Alright. Stamina regenerates 20% faster. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Oh shoot, there's like a bear trap? What kind of a menace is this man? He's got multiple bear traps. A bunch of... Oh, there's a ghost. Whoop! <laughs> An alchemy lab? Yeah, this is some weird stuff. So there's this random guy. A ghost. Look at these bear traps we could have walked right into. A ghost that's like stuck in this cage. He's just down here drinking, making his own brew. Completed. Find the ghost of the Ratway. Hello? We cannot pick their pocket or talk to them. Search this guy. Okay, this is getting weirder and weirder. Let's uh, read his, his confession here. I'm going to summarize. Let's just read it later. This feels like a side quest. Unlock gate requires key? Who's feeding this rat dog meat? What's going on in here? <gasps> Shoot! That was a door. It said to the guardian vault? Nope, nope. I don't know what that's about. No, 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 no. I want to fight some sewer guardian. So there's a rat stuck in a cage. So apparently been getting drunk on skooma and eating dog meat. Let's try and see if like the key was actually around here. Maybe this guy keeps the rat in the cage. Anything? Darn. This mage spell does not last long. We can sleep in the hay pile. Some poison. Yeah, I've got no idea what goes on down here, but it is getting weirder and weirder by the second. Who's Lydia fighting? Oh, there's a trap! We somehow walked over some kind of a trap, brutal. We didn't get attacked in here. Let's go ahead and throw in our miss man. Didn't work. All right, we'll try again. So there's an axe. We're gonna leave that axe there just so we know where we're going. A door we can open. Oh, our light went out again. Man, this light does not last long. Shadowfoot Sanctum requires key? What is that? Alright, so we're turning left. More dead men. Table. This is a pickpocket. Skeever cage, gold, pickpocket, journal. Fine boots, but a ragged. That's a big skeever. Well, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and uh, just get the skeever out of the cage and I guess pull this lever? Yeah, why not? Since we now know. Yeah, we'll just we have the we have the key. Why not? What's, I mean, what's that's fine. Oh, there's the pressure plate. You see right there. 
That activated the trap. I saw the blood on the... See this big log in the ceiling? I saw the blood on the stairs. Okay, hopefully this thing doesn't attack us right away. It's looking pretty feral. Unlock. Talk. Talk. Still here. Um, Lead on. We have freed him from the cage. Talk to Scritch. Wait for me at home. You go to Bloodshell Manor. Grumble. Okay. So this is one of the, the pets of Skyrim. Right here, this giant skeever. There he is. And he will just walk all the way to Bloodshell Manor, apparently, at that speed. Bunch of dog meat. Yeah, we're just going to leave this crazy thing alone. Wow. That was kind of wild. Brynhoff has really invited us in for just an absolutely diabolical time here. What is this? It's an expert door. We can try and unlock it. Is expert the right level of lock up I should be trying to lock pick? Or am I like jumping up like two tiers? Like there's like, what is it? Apprentice for like the first one. And then adept is maybe the second. I don't know. It's like, is this the right one we should be trying for? Or are we just reaching too far? It is like gut wrenching every time these lock picks don't work. Especially when you're like so close to like what feels like it's gonna work. You're right at the end, you're a couple breaks in, you're a couple of picks in, but you've got it like 90% of the way turned. Sometimes I wonder if a lock has a certain number of attempts you have to do. Like it's just gonna break the first few times. All right, there's our one, one level up for lock picking, awesome. So this is hopefully the Ragged Flagon where Brynolf told us to meet him. Yeah, Ragged Flagon, perfect. Oh my goodness. It's really opened up. I mean, there's, there's nothing in here, but... Oh, we went the wrong way. Of course we did. Okay, that's fine. This place is looking a little rough. Just a little. Oh, look at that, the Ragged Flagon. I've got my little mage light. Sorry if it's blind. Yes, the Ragged Flagon, okay. Give it up, Rinyo. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. Come back later. I may have some real. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that then? Us? Is it us? Is he talking about us? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. True? I almost got killed! No risk, no reward. That's the way it goes, so you better get used to it. Okay. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Oh, okay. Um, us almost dying? Apparently childlike complaints. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. Oh, that's probably I want bad. you to explain to them the error of their ways. Okay. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. This doesn't feel right. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Yeah, so... Do we get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. All right, let's see. Let's get the details on these three different people. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. And Helga? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. 
Okay, and Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Okay, so... He gave us an addition to, like, steal a ring from multiple locked doors and then plant the ring on someone else. We got someone sent to jail. Then he's like, hey, meet us down here. We almost get killed. We, we get jumped by a, by a, a maniac with fists, poisons, and, and booby traps. Then, after all of that, we finally get here and he's like, yeah, you're not even in yet. We're not going to offer you any perks of any kind. Go collect these three deaths for us. You could kill them, but please don't. Oh, okay. I'll be here when you're done. Wow. Okay, this is to Delvin from from Vex. Delvin, master of sneaking, huh? If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me while I'm baby in the lake, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. I like how she put that in a letter for everyone to see. And what's this one? Uh, Delvin, I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else she might catch her operation. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. Ew. Can we steal these notes? Stay out of trouble or there's going to be trouble. We are invisible, but they can see us. I wonder how you get these notes if, if, if they can catch you when you're invisible. Let's see what else there is, or who else there is to talk to. There's a little light. All right. huh. if you're looking for I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. The sculpt? That's right. That's right. We were told there was a face sculptor. Yes. I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. Wow. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. She's pretty much so, like... So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? No, I hear you only... You only work mm -hmm. with the scum of Skyrim. That that's that's, that's probably not enough. So, I oh, recommend sorry. you keep your hands off the merchandise. What thing you have going here, Tanilla? You don't impress me. So don't even try. Okay. We won't even try. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. Not gonna happen. All right. So we are visible. Speak. Now we're invisible. And she can see us. Yes. Interesting. It is tough to. It is There's tough no to steal from here. these guys. Got a lot of nerve coming down here. People tend to get hurt in the rat way. We might. Uh, we might be making to look a. We're looking to make a home here. What? Splendid. There's a house available right now. What? Seventy-five thousand gold. That's a lot, dude. I'm gonna have to think about that. Very well. Just let me know when you're ready to purchase the house. Okay. What can you share to me with me about the Thieves Guild? I don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. Yeah, we really couldn't I... interact with anyone. I, I tried to mess with a few of them. Open door to the vault. Storage cabinet requires a key. I wouldn't stay here long if I were you. Why wouldn't he stay Have anything here for us yet? Who is this, Vex? I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure the... Vex has an emerald, a flawless emerald, flawless sapphire, golden lockpicks. I mean, she has... Wow. For yourself. Have anything for us yet? We do not. Sorry, Brynolf. We are still just trying to figure things out. Anyone else we can talk to? There's a guy here, right? Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. 
Is this the guy's Last brother? Last person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. Whoa! What do you think he likes about the uh, the Mara pamphlets, huh? I think I have some more of these padding my mattress. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why do they call you Dirge, Dirge? They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Okay. Why? You think it's funny or something? No way, man. That name would scare anyone. Oh yeah. I think so too. You're pretty smart. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, here. Have one on the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gave us some black briar mead. Wasn't there one other person you around have here? Coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Can we steal this? Just now. Right, there's the guy. There's the guy. Not a lot of nerve coming down. Tell me again when you've proven yourself to Brynjolf. Can you train me in sneak? Stick with me. And he'll never even know you're there. Oh, he can. Okay. Yeah, why not? Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. So it was like three thousand gold, maybe. But a couple, a couple of good levels always worth it. A couple good levels it? always worth it. I stay here so it turns out we came down here just to be told to leave again. Kind of a, kind of an odd. It's exactly what the Dawn Star did to us. What other quests have like told us to come meet them places, and then like immediately they were like, "Hey, you know what? Just, just don't even bother." I, I don't know where we're going. Are we going the right way? We get jumped again. Is this where that crazy guy was? How are we lost? How is that even possible? Okay, there are bodies here. Oh yeah, this is the the fisticuffs guy. What is this a shortcut to? There's the trap that did not hit us. Good work, us. And this was the way. What about the bridge? The bridge must be pretty quick, right? This was the way out. Okay, come through the bridge. All right, the bridge is the way to go. Yeah, I think it's really weird the way that these quests were like, hey, you want to, you want to join us? And then we like get to them and they're like, okay, go across the entire map, all right? Just the entire map, no more, no less. It's the same thing with the uh, the guys from High Hrothgar, right? The very first thing they had us do is, hey, can you cross the entire map? And then again, it happened with, who's the other one? It was, uh, let's see here, the entire map. Again, it happened Brilliant. with. Brilliant. Yes, th thank you. There's a bed we can sleep in. Yeah, for some reason, seems like we, we, we travel somewhere new and kind of exciting, right? The Thieves Guild, and the very first thing he wants us to do is, is to leave. I don't I don't quite get it. I'm not really sure why that's the case. Not, not a big deal so much as it is. It just feels kind of odd. Like, I feel like, you know, Skyrim really got it right. Look at this, look at this. Garlic bread. Cures all disease. 